Getting to the money, I be getting to the back. People think I'm funny, cause I always make them laugh. I ain't even being funny, I be really spitting facts. I'm about balance, and I got talents. Never be challenged, I overcome. Low key, a savage, never be average. Give me a task, and I'll get it done. Minding my business whenever I come in. I'm hitting them business while I'm having fun. I ain't worried about winning, but that would be dumb, cause there's no competition. I already won, huh? Yeah. Peace, 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 family. How you all doing? I hope all is well with you. My name is Keisha. I'm the owner of Astrologics, and I am your astrology coach. Today, I'll be continuing my Lilith Through the Signs series with Lilith and Scorpio. And so this video is for you if you have Lilith and Scorpio in your natal birth chart or if you have Lilith in the eighth house in your birth chart. And so what is Lilith? Well, Lilith is mythology. It's a story um, that represents our lower expressions of ourselves. And so the mythology of Lilith is that she is the first wife of Adam. And they were both created equally. Um, they both had the same knowledge. They were both made from the dirt. They were both independent. Um, they both had the same amount of skills. But over time, Adam wanted to dominate Lilith. He, he always wanted to be on top. He wanted to control her. And pretty much he wanted her to submit to him. And so because Lilith refused to submit to Adam because she wanted equality, she was kicked out of the Garden of Eden. And because she was kicked out, she became rageful and went into um, a rage all around manipulating people, just doing devilish things, sleeping with demons, having babies with demons, killing the demon babies. <laughs> and um, this is, again, a representation of where we are repressed, the lower expressions of ourselves, where we are shame. Um, and... Scorpio is a fixed water sign. It lives in the eighth house and it rules, it's ruled by Pluto. And because Pluto and Lilith kind of have the same themes in common, this can tend to be a bit stronger. Um, so it's in its detriment uh, or domicile rather, not detriment, domicile, meaning it's stronger when Lilith is in Scorpio because they are of like mind, so to speak. They're on the same page. They feel the same way because they are ruled, uh, they rule some of the same themes. And so in this placement, it might be a little bit darker than most um, but, uh, Scorpio rules, death, rebirth, transformation, childhood trauma, um, joint taxes or joint finances, debt insurances, taxes, people who owe you money and, um, people you owe money to. So this can be things like bills or just being indebted to other people um, and any government funding. Um, this is also the occult and where you go to do deep, deep research to get to the truth. Um, it's also rules uh, psychology, detective, investigating, um, what makes people tick, um, 
the psychology of money and all the parapsychologies. So alchemy, um, astrology, numerology, tarot, palmistry, all the divinations are ruled by Scorpio. And so I have to include the fact that this can be very deep, intense emotions. Um, it can be a lot of jealousy, envy, and um, devious behaviors. Um, whether it's coming from you or this is the type of people you tend to attract. So these people are extremely magnetic sexually. Their sexual aura is very powerful. It will often make people want to cling to them, be it in their energy, want to get to know them, want to be around them. And if you don't know how powerful this energy is, it can become very, very dangerous. And so at a young age, these people might have been introduced to sex um, in a very negative way, even kind of um, unbeknownst to you, like maybe not direct, but indirectly. Um, or it could be actual physical sex being introduced to sex at a very, very young age. Um, and that could be through rape or you just lost your virginity very young. Um, these people tend to be um, OnlyFans, you know? I think of OnlyFans when I think of Lilith and Scorpio because they can make a lot of money just off of their aura. And so... When you think about the themes that are ruled by Scorpio, these people make money by way of sex um, because they learn at a very young age how powerful they are sexually and how they can get people to pretty much do anything they want without even trying. And so they can manipulate you with sex. And so I think of like OnlyFans, you, make, you can make a lot of money. They might attract a lot of stalkers. They can have genital problems more often than not. Um, these can be sex addicts. Um, you can attract some very obsessive people or you're very obsessive in your relationships. Um, you might be attracted to the darker side of life, meaning like, Obviously, the darker side of life is just in that life, you know. If it's not OnlyFans, it can be uh, prostitution and um, all the things that come with that lifestyle in any way, shape, or form you can think of, healthy or unhealthy. Um, but also the darker side of life, meaning you're very secretive. You're very laid back, private, mysterious, you know? These people like the occult things and doing research about occult things um, and doing research on other people. These people do have trust issues. They do not trust anybody. Um, whether they tell you that or not, <laughs> probably not. You know, and so when they meet people, these are the type of people who will go do like a um, background check on you. Even if you're just casually engaging with them. Um, or again, people tend to do this to you a lot. Um, these people could be into like mysteries and shows that are about detectives and you know, all those kind of, um, what is it, 48, the next 48, <laughs> you know the shows I'm talking about, 
that are about killings and things like that, they might be like really interested in those types of things. If they're not in that particular field, like being a cop or a detective, um, they probably watch those things a lot. Again, because they are into occult stuff, these people will put a spell on you. Um, they want control over their relationships. And so um, they will do whatever it takes to get you to do whatever it is that they want you to do. Now, they have this naturally. But again, if you're unaware of who you are, then you will misuse the occult knowledge and mysticism and things of that nature. Um, again, they use sex as a weapon in their relationships. So these might be the type of people who won't give you sex if you don't do what they tell you to do. Again, they will um, make money by way of sex. Um, these people are very intuitive. Um, and possessive. They tend to look for flaws in people. They have very high sex drives. They really, really, really know how to put a move on you. Um, again, it could be sexually to get what they want. Uh, they are extremely erotic and into erotica or deeply in passionate sex. Or um, I always think of like, uh, I don't know what it's called though, but there's like, I think I mentioned this in another video. I can't remember which one it was, but I think of people like highly evolved people, spiritual people who like are into doing intimate um challenges with their partner where they have to sit in a yogic position and stare at each other or they'll want to do like yoga with you or something that's super intense it's kind of sexual but it may not be physical sex very intense lovers um They want to, they tend to want to build on a very deep level. They're not, these are not surface level people at all. And so you do have to be careful and be aware and acknowledge where you're being manipulative and using people for the wrong reasons, because we all know karma comes back. And so these people tend to find themselves indebted to a lot of people or people, places, and things because of their motives um, behind their actions. Um, and so you just really have to be careful and understand that you are naturally, people are naturally bound to you. You do not have to do spells to make people want to be around you. The more you know that and the more you learn that and the more you accept that, you learn how to use your power to gain through um, your natural abilities, you know, as opposed to trying to force it on other people. If you don't know your sexual desire, appetite, it's important for you to learn what that is for you to the deepest degree so that you can learn how to control it. Um, so that you don't get yourself in situations that don't benefit you. Um, it's just really, really important to research, perhaps from books as opposed to just general knowledge and information so that you can get the truth of what it is you seek and desire. Because at least that way you're getting it from a more authentic place as opposed to a more darker place. And you can prevent some of the karma that can come into your life from your uh, devious or misleading actions. And so um, 
Yeah, I actually really like Lilith and Scorpio. I have Pluto and Libra in my first house, so I am bound to this energy myself. And once you do realize your power, you understand how to use Pluto. These people are phenomenal people to be around. Very intense, but grounded. And you can learn a lot from them. They're very knowledgeable. Um, and you should be so lucky. But yeah. Family, this is my interpretation of Lilith and Scorpio. As usual, I love and appreciate you. I hope you found this information helpful. Peace.